Let's run along a train. Maybe a good way to get things done. There's apparently guards on top of this train. That can't be a fun posting. Hey, I want you guys to go stand on top of this really fast moving train. Yeah, what could go wrong with that? Here we'll see that you can't stack buffs in this game. Missed! It clearly didn't miss, it just has no effect. Heals the guy who hasn't been hit once. Bit of an AI fail there. Could have kept himself in the game by healing himself. Because I only sent Ika after him. And then this guy goes and heals himself too. They were probably planning on healing each other. But this guy was too slow to take his turn. And then Vice goes and crits him. What's the name of that mob? Custos. Probably to do with custodian or customs or something like that. Vice getting very close to learning some new spells. Oh, cutscene. What's happening? Ah, the good old shaking routine to make action sequences. Oh, he, he got off that train pretty quickly. The general rule is here, you don't let this guy catch up with you. And there's the hint. Hmm. Yeah. Just to make sure you don't try and fight him. Good thing is, he doesn't be in much of a hurry. He's just walking after you. Guess he knows you've got nowhere to go. These guys, fighting them doesn't slow us down, which is good. Ding. Hey, there's one poison proc. It wasn't on a counter. I thought it was. Dung. Well, these guys don't seem to be too in too much of a hurry to heal themselves. Unlike the last two we faced, who were very happy to heal themselves. That was easy. I gotta admit, that Assassin's Blade is a pretty cool looking piece of kit. front of the train and nope another fight huh. I don't even look at you I'm hitting now it's just yeah everyone pile on ooh magic first time one of these guys has used magic on us huh. don't do that again Knowing that I can't use Alpha Storm right off the bat now. But there's no kill like overkill. Alpha Storming a couple of guys would be quite handy. 
but we are not able to. We get to the front of the train. She's got one hell of a chin. He cut glass with that chin. She just told you. It's Vice. Vice the competent. Vice is also wielding a different sword in the cutscenes. Than he is in the actual battle sequences. Nope, oh, Vita falls over. Slightly more powerful that one than what we're used to. The strategy for this one is you just keep Delta Shield up. And watch as their attacks have no effect on you. Bleep! Well, they're magic attacks anyway. They're regular attacks still, do. Fury. Let's try this. And I'm wondering if it's the color combination I'm using. So I'm using yellow against yellow guys, but against that blob thing, you know, we were doing 600 damage with Cutlass Fury, and now it's down to 350 again. And here was when I realised that, or at least remembered, that Delta Shield only lasts one turn. I thought it was something that stayed up for a while. I'm kind of on the back foot here. Gotta get some healing done. The annoying thing is now I have to spend two spirit every turn using Delta Shield. <laughs> Please, Vice can get two spirit back by focusing. At this point, I'm thinking, I have an idea, I'm going to use Reign of Swords. Probably a good thing I didn't use um, Cutlass Fury on that turn. And then I realised I'll never be able to use uh, Reign of Swords in this fight. It requires 14 spirit, and I only have a maximum of 12. Gosh darn it. He was obviously defending. Giving Delta Shield up is a good strategy for this battle because they're going to use Electres again at some point. Ah, and this guy gets annoying with doing this. Yeah, it's just to undo all of that. Right, right back at square one. I think well. we've got to try something. Alright. 
Delta Shield. I immediately sort of crapped myself here. I thought, oh no, I made a big mistake. Delta Shield only blocks magic incoming to us. I can still cast spells against other people. I wouldn't be able to heal. Ah. I wouldn't be able to heal with magic if I had Delta Shield up. But I can attack with magic. good thing about having Delta Shield up, it also uh, reduces the amount of time needed to cast a uh, to go through the animation of a spell. It cuts out a lot sooner. Don't have to sit through the whole thing. You think they'd learn at some point that we're just going to block all their magic? This is one of those really annoying fights. It really is just a war of attrition. There's not a huge amount of point in going after in going after them like this. You know, cutlass fury when it becomes available. You need to wait. You need to focus up. Getting very low on sacred crystals here. Figure I'll hold on to it. You need to collect, collect as much spirit points as you can. And then just unleash hell on them. Hope that you can get them before they uh, before they heal. Kinder attacking will also help. Takes the edge off a little bit. Now that I have eleven spirit, it's all out war. You just hope you have to get in before they heal. Yeah, okay. He's going to use electrons on us, and we don't have Delta Shield up, but it's a small price to pay. Let us take the beating. As long as he's not healing, that's fine. And yeah, now we just finish him off. Counter stance, I think, obviously has an automatic counter attack ability to it if you hit someone in counter stance. Obviously, they've got a defensive stance going, so it'll reduce the damage by half and automatically counter. Much like uh, Vice's Counter Strike move. But the advantage there is we still killed him, so we couldn't counter anyway. And now this guy just need to wear him down. This is one fight that's really annoying to go through. If you've been getting yourself, if you've been purposely going through without grinding and really leveling up, if you're running away from a lot of fights and trying to challenge yourself, this one's a real dick of a fight because you'll do so little damage to them and they will eventually heal. I figure he's going to heal again at some point, so we'll just we'll run this out for one more turn. Doomsday time. I was wrong about him healing, of course. So, yep. He gone. Some new magic for us all.
Oh, she's all touched. Gelsian isn't going to let us get away. We're going to need a real deus ex here, aren't we? There's not really a much of a deus ex. <laughs> yeah, he knows we've made a fool of Alonso. <laughs> that sounds fair. Of course we're not going to give him Looking bad. Oh, and there's the little Jack right on time. <laughs> Bye, train. Let's not ask how we got on the ship. Magic. Getting really annoyed now with dying, saying we're late for everything. We didn't just do it for you, we rescued everyone. Now the thing is, uh, there's three ships here. But we only fight one. Hey, Drachma's joined the party again. Even the riders were getting uh, a little sick of the shit. See there, we get an opportunity to use the harpoon cannon. Yeah, it's worth making sure we have enough spirit for that, I think. The good news is they seem to be uh, not going to be very accurate. Is it just me, or is that the gate out of there? I mean, surely we could just do some nifty manoeuvring and get our way through. But hey, don't argue with the plot holes. doing much damage there. Probably because we took a bit of action. I think even if it doesn't appear that you go first, I think you still get the benefits of defending.
Yeah, let's fling a bomb out of here. Let's use that, you know. I'll have Drakman use the special cannon because he's got the most attack out of all of us. I think player stats or character stats also come into ship battles in this game. Ah, oh, they're landing some hits. Got a bit of a free ride that first turn, and not anymore. One thousand two hundred. Okay, well, one thousand two hundred damage. Need be quite a bit, but you know, compared to cannons, not a huge amount. It's not really worth spending the money on bombs. Uh, let's take a bit of a beating. I love this cutscene. It's not the best. The best comes much later in the game. Take that! That's a lot of damage. And if you look at how it's barbed, that's going to be a difficult thing to reel back in without taking the entire side of his ship with you. I need some repair kits. We've all had a bit of a chance to catch up to Drakma's level now. There's that pulsing sound again. <laughs> more speed! We need more speed! Good old action scene trope. Yeah! Got through somehow. Smacking all this wood off metal. I'm not taking any of the wood off. You'd think that we'd be picked up by some of the guard ships outside, wouldn't you? I think from this point on, if we go near Valua, we can get into ship battles with the guard ships that are outside. So if you need to get some experience quickly, it's a good way of doing it. Because those ship battles aren't particularly challenging. <laughs> he just has the look of... <sighs> sorry, Galcian. I mean, not sorry at all, but you know. It's kind of funny. Now we get the real exposition about Fina's mission. Surprised we didn't get clunked around the head by Drachma again for laughing around like that. Also kill the dinosaurs. I wonder if there ever were dinosaurs in Arcadia.
No pressure for guessing who's going to have to fight some Gigas along the way. Gigas? Giguses? Gigai! I guess Gigas. I guess it's like sheep, the singular is the plural. She would never have been able to recover all the crystals on her own anyway, and I'm sure you can guess why. Obviously, these crystals are going to be guarded by monsters, evildoers, and so on, and it's not going to be easy to get them, so quite how she thought she'd be able to get them herself. Hello! Cupid obviously doesn't have a gender. Yes. You little rebel vice. Now we have a full party of four. Hey, some sacri crystals. Need those. Blip. Let's see how long it takes to get down this ladder, actually. From when we start moving down. Not from when we try to go over the top of it. It does take a while. They rebuild this place pretty quickly. There we go, that took over 30 seconds. That took 35 seconds. Can't we just have had like a pole to slide down? 